Ooh la la, Swindon's number two Frenchman, Philippe Cuervo, brought some je ne sais quoi to the county ground. He doesn't speak much English, so the man of the match is letting his football do the talking. We've only known him for a week. He does speak broken English. It's difficult for him at times, but he's going to learn it. Um, it's been good. For, it's like signing two new players because we've got a little bit extra out of Frederick. Um, and it makes you wonder last year when he wasn't having such a good time, was it because of just off the field, you know, away from uh, having no friends? Uh, but he's certainly lifted Frederick and we've, uh, we're quite happy with the way he's looking at the minute as well. Swindon looked impressive on their first run out of the season. Newly promoted crew have some work to do. Wayne Allison's aerial assault exhausted the visitors. But finally their resistance broke and Swindon had something to celebrate. The frustration told when Cuervo's replacement, Darren Bullock, was upended late in the second half. Steve Finney enjoyed his first goal of the new season, 2-0 to Swindon. Wave goodbye to the injuries and disappointments of last season. Welcome back the good times. You've got to get off to a good start and we've kept a clean sheet and we've scored two goals. You can't ask for any more than that. So it was Wayne Ellison who got the opener, a penalty made it 2-0. David Passmore, BBC News West. All favourite Wayne Ellison doing what comes naturally. In the second half, Kierton was judged to have brought down Darren Bullock, a substitute for Cuervo with 10 minutes to go. The crew goalie didn't have much joy with the new penalty rule for keepers that allows movement on the goal line. He'd have been better off standing still to Finney's kick. Swindon win it 2-0.